know how the old saying goes, when the going gets weird, the weird turn pro. And as it so frequently appears, no matter what kind of human weirdness you think you've seen so far, there's nowhere more bizarre than the animal kingdom. While we're all animal lovers over here at Missing Files, the truth is some creatures on this planet are so downright weird that it's pretty difficult to ever find them cute or cuddly, even the ones that appear to be friendly and fuzzy on the surface. Well, from hitchhiking wildcats to the spa to treatment warthogs, here's the 15 weirdest things that animals do. Eels. All right, what better way to begin this list than with one of the weirdest serpentine fishing techniques in the world that involves none other than eels? Yeah, you can't say you expected that one, right? Well, when it comes to the unexpected, take a look at this startling footage that seemed to have baffled absolutely everyone on the internet after it went viral on YouTube back in 2019. Strangely enough, the video seems to show the exact moment that a mysteriously placed eel emerges from a pit mud before latching itself around a young explorer standing nearby. However, while it initially seems like some terrifying monster attacking a poor human, what we're actually seeing is the puja method, a style of fishing made popular in Southeast Asia that involves the use of a potent fishing oil that causes these creatures to retreat from their swampy burrows before being captured by hand by waiting fishermen. The manual fishing method is certainly one of the strangest things we've seen in a long time and although it seems pretty ingenious, there are some that aggressively oppose this style of fishing, claiming that the manual method is harming populations of Asian swamp eel across the planet, causing them cruel and unneeded stress in the process. Whatever the case, we certainly didn't expect those strange serpentine eels to slither out of those swamps. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? The Hitchhiking Jennet A tiny little carnivore similar to a mongoose that seems to exhibit some of the strangest and bravest behavior ever observed in the species. Back in 2014, a strange phenomena seemed to have been observed on a number of remote trail cameras out in several South African wildlife reserves. You see, under the cover of night, one brave little jinnet would subvert its natural instincts and climb on the backs of giant herbivores, such as rhinos and buffaloes that frequently roam the region, and no one has any idea of why. At the time, the region was being observed by a team of scientists that were set up in the wildlife park in order to monitor endangered black rhino, and in the process, they inadvertently captured this never-before-seen behavior much to the delight and dismay of scientists across the planet. You see, it's common knowledge that small birds and cowbirds regularly ride cattle in order to pick off their parasites. But mammals riding other mammals is something that has long been a thought of otherwise impossible situations in this world, only ever reserved for humans that ride domestic creatures such as horses or bulls. The tiny hitchhiking jinnet seems to have taken the rule book and completely flipped it on its head. Who knew evolution could produce something straight out of a Disney movie, right? <laughs> Komodo dragons conceive without mating Although parthenogenesis, otherwise known as immaculate conception, isn't exactly widespread throughout the animal kingdom, strangely, there seems to be one incredible species on this planet that has experienced this miracle phenomena in a far more impossible way than others, Komodo dragons. Yet yeah, move over, Daenerys Targaryen, there's only one mythical mother of dragons here. You see, although many smaller lizards commonly exhibit the same behavior, it was thought impossible to occur in larger creatures. However, that was until 2006, when a team of scientists at London Zoo witnessed a mother-to-be Komodo dragon named Flora, who produced eight offspring entirely without the intervention of a male. And in total, she laid 25 eggs, 11 of which were viable. Theoretically speaking, some scientists have speculated that it would be entirely possible for a Komodo dragon in the wild to create an entirely new population in an isolated environment. Who knows, maybe there's some island out there in the Pacific that was populated by a lone Komodo dragon mother, just like Flora. <laughs> Warthog Spa Treatment 
For those of you that have seen The Lion King, which, yes, yeah, probably most of you, cartoons have often depicted warthogs as being fun-loving goofballs with voracious appetites, who love treating themselves to elaborate feasts and waterhole spa treatments. Well, as it turns out, that's actually pretty darn close to reality. Feast your eyes on this truly astonishing footage, which appears to show a group of particularly pampered warthogs in Uganda that have developed an incredible and unusual and friendly relationship with a family of local mongoose. Amazingly, in one of the more unusual symbiotic relationships of its kind, the warthogs treat the mongoose like their own personal spa, and in return, the mongoose get to eat all of the delicious ticks and bugs found on their body. Although it isn't exactly clear how this relationship first began, scientists believe that both species have gotten extremely used to seeing humans in the wild, and because of that, their otherwise distrusting demeanor meant that they felt comfortable getting closer to other animals. Incredibly, it's thought to be one of the very rare cases in the wild where one species of mammal will groom another, each of them benefiting from the otherwise unthought of relationship. Hey, Hakuna Matata, right? <laughs> Clownfish Gender Change While the animal world is filled with an astonishing variety of social and behavioral roles, one of the most incredible capabilities comes with circumstances dictating that an animal needs to change its entire body in order to survive, and in the case of the clownfish, change from a male into a female. A little known fact is that studies have revealed that all clownfish are born males, but incredibly, given the current circumstances, the dominant male of the group will morph into a female if the female of the group dies. Amazingly, clownfish, also known as anemone fish, are sequential hermaphrodites, a rare variety of animal that will shift their gender role under specific social realignments. These incredible creatures live in regimented schools made up of all males and just one female, with the lone female being the dominant, and generally the largest fish in any given group. If the female of the group dies, the dominant male will then get first choice when feeding and begin to gain weight ultimately becoming the female. It's thought that this unique capability to morph from male to female developed because, unlike many other types of fish, clownfish will almost never stray far away from their sea and enemy homes, essentially limiting the available mating partners in the local area. They evolved this incredible behavior in order to survive, and it's considered one of the more effective survival techniques in the ocean. <laughs> Headbanging cockatoos while we've certainly seen some strange entries so far, let's instead shine the spotlight on Snowball, a headbanging cockatoo that knows more dance moves than most humans. Sure, most parents are known for their ability to mimic human singing or comedic timing, but few are known for their ability to dance with impeccable rhythm. You see, Snowball initially hit the big time back in the early 2000s, when his slick moves quickly became an overnight viral sensation. However, it was when Snowball appeared on a popular late-night talk show that several scientists noticed the parrot-style dancing was far more special than it may have first appeared. You see, Snowball is one of the only animals, other than humans, that appear to exhibit genuine dancing rather than mimicking other movements. As it turned out, Snowball's aptitude for dancing meant that he could expand on his already existent repertoire. Essentially, Snowball the dancing cockatoo was learning more moves as he went effectively getting better the more he practiced. As it turned out, the behavior seems to have unblocked an entirely unique trait in cockatoos. Incredibly, scientists have discovered that Snowball wasn't alone in his movements, and that, neurologically speaking, cockatoos have 14 distinctive dance movements built into their brains without any previous training. So much for bird brain, right? Rats in toilets Alright, what's the last thing you'd want to see when lifting up that toilet seat? Well, we can answer that question pretty darn easily here. It's a gigantic, waterlogged rat crawling out of your sewer pipe. Sure, snakes and crocodiles may be pretty darn high on that list as well, but the common occurrence of rats in drain pipes means that these ferocious rodents are far more frequently acquainted than any other animal on Earth. While it still is an incredibly rare thing to witness, there's actually an incredible reasonable explanation as to why rats have historically emerged out of people's toilets. In fact, scientists have determined that rats are almost perfectly designed to make their way through man-made plumbing, almost as if it were born to skitter throughout the sewers of human society. Rats can access sewers through pretty much any means, cracks, gaps, pipes, manholes, or storm grates. 
These rodents can easily navigate the maze of sewer piping that runs beneath every city on Earth, and it's believed to be so easy for them to do due to the fact that rats can effortlessly collapse their ribs in order to squeeze through any and every opening. Born to swim through the sewer? You bet. <laughs> Mountain Stone Wettas Okay, if you've never seen a wetter bug, take a moment to get adjusted to these truly enormous insects. Endemic only to the islands of New Zealand, the incredibly numerous species of wetter bug take their name from the Maori word wetapunga, meaning god of the ugly things. Yeah, that probably gives you an idea of how weird these things are. Incredibly, the largest of the species can easily weigh as much as a rat, making them large enough to face off with things far more capable than mere insects. However, the giant weta is so heavy that it's incapable of flying, resulting in its sluggish and slow-paced behavior. But for another variety of bug, the mountain stone weta, being slow-paced and sluggish has meant that they're effectively immortal. Yeah, and one of the more incredible displays of naturally occurring cryogenics in the animal kingdom, the mountain stone weta can essentially be frozen in hard frosts of snow, preserving them perfectly for months at a time before thawing out in the warmer months and moving on as if nothing ever happened. Astonishingly, scientists have determined that the mountain stone weta can withstand repeated cycles of being frozen and then thawed, making them one of the only creatures on the planet that can do so. Incredible. <laughs> Glow-in-the-dark scorpions While scorpions have traditionally been the subject of many occult rituals and science fiction experiments gone wrong, it seems that there may be a little truth to the strange happenings of these extraordinary creatures. No, you're not looking at some kind of radioactive origin story. These scorpions are, in fact, glowing in the dark. Amazingly, it's not just one rare species of scorpion that exhibits this incredible ability, but pretty much every scorpion on Earth. While it's hard to believe, this glowing isn't some sign of radioactivity, because every scorpion, from the rarest to those that you'd find in your backyard, appear to glow a brilliant aqua color when beneath an ultraviolet light. Why? Well, scientists aren't exactly sure, but it appears that unique chemicals found in the outer shell of scorpions observe ultraviolet light more so than many other species. While its use is currently pretty useless, it means that scientists can easily spot scorpions in the dark when out in the field. Not like you should ever be searching for scorpions in the dark, but hey, science, right? <laughs> owl heat twists. Ever wonder how an owl can twist its whole head without blinking an eye? And no, while the answer isn't that they're possessed by some kind of demon, the scientific explanation as to why these predatory birds can swivel their noggin so easily is pretty darn impressive nonetheless. Amazingly, now research has determined that almost all species of owl can swivel their head around without cutting off any blood supply to their brains, thanks to a complex adaptive network of protective blood vessels that make up the structure of their neck. Unlike humans, the cardioid and vertebral arteries in the neck of owls can handle such impossible movements due to the unique adaptation of the fluid in their necks. In the most extreme display, an owl can rotate their necks up to a maximum direction of 270 degrees. <sighs> Hippo Sprints While hippos are commonly known for being hungry, it seems that they also exhibit another unexpected behavior. As if hippos weren't already terrifying enough, did you know that they can also sprint at speeds of over 20 miles per hour? Yeah, while they're sure to be fat and slow on the surface, incredibly, despite being the third largest land mammal on Earth, hippos can almost certainly outrun the average human being. Never underestimate a fully grown hippo, as these moody animals are the cause of between 500 to 3,000 human deaths per year. Yikes. Given the fact that male hippos can weigh up to four tons and a hippo can reach its top speed in just a couple of seconds, being attacked by one of these animals would be like being flattened by an SUV with jaws strong enough to literally snap its prey in half. <laughs> Lemur Scent Wars Sure, you've heard of conflict resolution, but have you ever heard of the stink fight? Well, like most animals, lemurs compete with each other for scarce resources, such as hunting territory, food sources, and even reproductive mates. As you may imagine, these conflicts are commonly resolved by fighting, and with their sharp teeth and claws, serious injury is often imparted on both animals. 
However, as lemurs often live in large social groups of between 20 and 30 individuals in the wild, with such a large population, fighting during breeding season would almost always result in obliteration of the species. To resolve these conflicts without the risk of death or injury, lemurs have developed scent glands on their wrists and shoulders that they use to secrete a toothpaste-like substance to cover their enemies with until they back off. Essentially, in order to exert their dominance, a male lemur will paint their enemies with its stink until they've achieved total control over their territory. Sure, it's gross, but it's also pretty effective. <laughs> Tardigrades when it comes to survival, which animal would you picture as the toughest creature on Earth? Sure, there is a boatload to choose from, but surprisingly, the toughest creature known to science is actually a microscopic life form known as a tardigrade. Affectionately known as water bears for their bizarre ursine appearance, these microscopic animals are virtually indestructible, and they've been the focus of one of the most surprising studies ever conducted by science. If you thought that cockroaches would be the only ones to outlive a nuclear apocalypse, then think again, because tardigrades have been known to survive the most extreme climate known to science, the vacuum of space. Yeah, believe it or not, but in one surprise experiment, tardigrades were exposed to outer space for 10 days. And after returning to Earth, it was discovered that not only had the water bears survived, some of them even had babies. In fact, these astonishing animals are so tough that scientists have recently speculated that they could be found alive virtually anywhere in our solar system, from the moon to the rings of Saturn, and potentially even further than that, too. Who knows, maybe unlocking the key to understanding the meaning of life lies within the tiniest of creatures. After all, life always finds a way, right? African lungfish Alright, while we've certainly seen some incredibly bizarre stuff so far, this next fish is just staggeringly weird. As in, it's so weird that this bizarre creature has recently been the focus of a scientific study that hopes to one day help us reach human immortality. The African lungfish is commonly found in the freshwater swamps, backwaters, and small rivers of West and Southern Africa, and for nearly 400 million years, these prehistoric animals have survived entirely unchanged, sometimes being referred to by scientists as living fossils. Not only that, but these ancient fish have several fascinating adaptations. For one, they have two lungs that can freely breathe air. While it goes without saying that fish aren't exactly famed for their ability to breathe oxygen, the lungfish does it with frightening efficiency. In fact, this unique feature has resulted in several cases where an African lungfish has lived out of water for nearly four years. Four years? Talk about a fish out of water! Currently, scientists are studying this astonishing adaptation in the hope of someday utilizing suspended animation for human patients. And who knows, perhaps the keys to immortality will be found with this incredible and surprising creature. Prairie Dog Greeting And finally, what better way to end this list than with one of the most wholesome greetings in the animal kingdom? Prairie dogs are some of the cutest creatures on the planet, and despite being a menace to most, there is no denying the fact that these affectionate animals are incredible to observe. However, it seems that these observations have had an otherwise unforeseen effect on these animals. After a study was carried out at the St. Louis Zoo, scientists found that captive prairie dogs would interact more affectionately with each other when being watched by zoo visitors. As it turned out, these incredible animals enjoyed the attention of human observers so much that they would fight less with their own population and younger prairie dogs would become less tense in front of a large audience. Given the fact that prairie dogs have many natural predators such as bears, foxes, snakes, and birds of prey, it seems that they're most at ease being plexiglass. Who knew? Well, there we have it, the 15 weirdest things that animals do. What'd you guys think? Let us know your thoughts down below. As always, thanks for sticking around all the way until the end. You've been watching Missing Files. See you next time.